Good morning, folks. First thing in the morning here, June 6th, about 56 degrees out. Rather cool for June. A couple days ago, uh, got a call from the Ohio Country Boy. He would got a call about a tree that had come down. I believe it's a soft maple. Uh, the tree came down a couple counties away, and uh, it's got bees in it. Uh, he said the guy with the tree said he would just leave it alone, but it's right by where his kids ride ATVs, so he would really like it to be moved. He's w worried about it bothering the boys. So we're gonna go up today. Country boy, be here short like, and uh, we're gonna cut that section of the log out, place it on this trailer, and I'm gonna bring it back here and set it up. I'm not going to worry about managing it. I'm just going to set it up and just keep catching swarms that come off of it. Um, hopefully we're able to transport it home without the comb being destroyed. It's about an hour drive. So uh, the last time we tried this, we went and picked up the log. It was a lot warmer. It was probably in the 80s, low 90s. Uh, we brought the log back home, but during the uh, ride home, and, and also when they cut that section of the log out, it fell real hard, which just jammed up all the comb. It all fell to one side of the log. When we got it here and tried to unload it, it was a mess. I ended up having to uh, pretty much rubber band the comb in the frames like a cutout and stick it in the hive. So I'm hoping that don't have to happen today. I'm hoping we can get it home, stand it up, lay it down, whichever, cover the ends with some plywood, leave their little entrance hole open, and just leave it alone. But uh, what I wanted to go over with this morning is when you do a job like this, it's very crucial. And I'll show you here, I do it myself. Sit down, and make yourself a little list of materials, stuff you're gonna need at this job. You can't, I can't afford to turn around and come back. So like I say, it's an hour away. So I wanna take everything I need. Uh, I've got all my protective gear. I've got me a long sleeve shirt that velcros up the front. I got my uh, veil. I got gloves because we're going to have to carry this section of the log. Uh, I've got a couple pieces of plywood to cover over the nail, the holes on the end. Gas, chainsaw. Uh, worst case scenario, some rope. I don't know why. Just, just in case. This is my cant hook. It's for rolling logs, if we have to roll it on, which I'm not really crazy about stirring the bees up like that. We got to it in my smoker and smoke fuel. Uh, I believe the country boys bringing some materials we might need too, so uh, it ought to be real interesting. Pretty anxious about getting it back here. So. We'll see how, how it turns out. Some of that. Well, you can see the comb here, how it's darker. That's a lot older comb. This is new the comb that they drew, the white that they drew real recently. Probably when I moved it. it well, it, would, it was when it was standing up they drew that. Okay. Three or four feet. You want me to move them forks closer? What I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah. start down we'll here. We'll cut and back there and just see how far the hollow cavity goes. Okay.
I got a couple pieces of OSB we'll just screw on the end. I was gonna say. If you want me to, I can probably move. Do you want an education in bee biology? See these bigger cells? Yeah. Those are boy bees. These smaller ones are girl bees. Oh, the, well, the, what, the girls look like they're flat and the boys look like they're yeah. domed up a little bit. The boys are actually a bigger bee even when okay. they're How big of a hive is it? Ooh, it's okay. not small. And while it was rolled over, they, these are new combs. They started drawing yeah. down here where they started drawing new ones. Yeah. Try to get it square, get the cone square, perpendicular with it, and just eyeball it. And Ready for the ride home.